Lindsay Lohan is still with us this morning. So, to address these rumours that were sparked when you were pictured with the Quran under your arm, are you going to convert to Islam? I think that um, me studying the Quran is something that I found a solace in. It was a religion where I found a lot of peace. Um, it doesn't, you can't just convert to a religion overnight. It's, you know, it's a strong, it's a, it's a, it's a culture and it's a practice. Um, I do study it. Nothing is confirmed yet, but... Um, you read the Quran regularly, right? Yeah, I do. In English, but the, or in Arabic? It's translation. But yeah. it's easier for me to learn Arabic by writing it and the prayer hour listening you've, to it. I've noticed you've Instagrammed some sayings from Prophet Muhammad. I mean, you're taking this pretty seriously. I mean, well, are, I you, are you I in the... I had alaikum on my phone for a long time before I w cleaned my whole slate of Instagrams and, and Twitter posts. So that was there for quite some time. And people didn't realize that. It's just when it was wiped, that was the only thing people saw. Mm. And that Quran shot was actually from New York almost five years ago. Well, four are years you, ago when I was just there. to clarify, are you in the process of potentially converting to Islam? Is that how you would categorize it? I think uh, religion is, you know, any religion anyone chooses is a personal belief, just as a spirituality, whatever you believe. My sister's Buddhist. Um, uh, it's it's a, it's a you, consideration you, I have. Why are you reluctant to say other way? Because I, I don't want to speak on something that I haven't finished yet. I don't think that's right. What is it that appeals about Islam to you? As I said before, I find a solace in, in studying not just the Quran, other religions, just like meditation. I think something that feeds my soul and learning different cultures and beliefs um, in the Islamic culture, I found a lot of people that it's very, I feel like it's a family to me, a lot of my friends that are um, Arab. And they've been really good people to me, and also working with kids in Syria. It's something I, I want to learn the language so that I can, I can discuss situations with them. I want to be on the same page as everyone. And I, and when I go to Turkey and there's prayer hour, it does it calms me. Um, so it's something that I'm I'm interested in. What do I mean? Back in America, it's a polarizing thing, isn't it? To just even yes. suggest you might be, you know, you picture with the Quran, you get a lot of abuse suddenly, and so on. How do you deal with that? I was when I was flying to New York recently. I was wearing a headscarf, and um, I got stopped at the airport and racially profiled. Really? <laughs> First time in my life. Where? Which airport? Here. In London? Yeah. Really? And yeah, what Heathrow. Happened? And, um, well, she opened my passport and, and saw Lindsay Lohan and started immediately apologizing, but then said, please, but take off your headscarf. Really? Yeah. Uh, and I did. I mean, it's okay. But what scared me was, is that moment, how would another woman who doesn't feel comfortable taking off her headscarf feel. Mm. That was really interesting to me. I, I mean, I was kind and of And you felt shocked. that you had been deliberately targeted because they thought that you were an Arab, I don't, I don't know, I can't speak for what the purpose of it was, mm. but it was really Did they take you aside or what happened? I got double checked and until she realized and-, and You've never had that before? No, it was strange. Did that freak you out a bit? It did, it did. It's weird, I mean, going, I'm from New York. I'm, I'm, I'm born and raised there, so I was a little intimidated. What was the reason that you were wearing the headscarf? Is that part of your studying? Well, of you know what's Islam? so interesting to me is that when we look back on Grace Kelly and and Audrey Hepburn and you know all these old Hollywood actresses, they used to cover up the same way with yeah. their big glasses and their headscarf. But and that's it was, not and it for was, religious reasons. That was but presumably you could for do privacy. It because or maybe you want to be, you don't want to be seen as much mm. in the airport. You know, my red hair doesn't exactly not stand out. Mm. Um, so you were doing it for privacy reasons rather than for spiritual or religious I reasons. I was doing it because I was leaving Turkey and, and out of respect for certain countries that I go to. And when I see right. certain people, I think I feel more comfortable acting the same as the other woman. That's just a personal respect issue mm. for me that I have. Mm. Um, and so, so I had it on. And it was also really early and but I felt more comfortable that way. Um, and then you felt very uncomfortable. And then I was a little scared. L let me ask you about... Uh, Going to America. <laughs> well, let me ask you about your new president, Donald Trump. A lot of uh, actors have been coming out to hammer Donald Trump, being very abusive about him publicly and in interviews and on stages and so on. You've not gone down that road. You've actually been quite, not supportive, but you've defended his right to be the president. You did too. Yeah. Yeah, you did on Bill Maher. I saw that. Mm. I think it's such a double-edged sword, this situation, because you, I'm, you, I don't agree with his policies and the things that he's doing, but at the end of the day, he is the president right now. Mm. So what's the point in, in picking on someone 
instead of letting just see what they're capable of or not capable of. I can't speak on that because I'm not him. I don't know what goes on. I would love to be a fly on the wall. Do you feel like the hysteria is slightly overplayed on this? Because I do. I, I think so. Mm. I think so. I think it's just people are, you know, making it overly dramatic. Mm. Um, and I, I do think his Twitter needs to be taken away or deleted. <laughs> 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 I just think, I just think, you know, you, uh, you, why don't kick someone when they're down? Aren't you doing a news thing where you take over people's Twitter? Yes, I just filmed the sizzle reel for a show. What is it? Um, it's called Nerd, and basically I. I hack and take over your social media for 24 oh, hours. Oh, can you do it with Piers Morgan, please? Yes, you're not getting I would love to. Yes. Oh, my God. I would love you to as You well. and then Trump. <laughs> I can't think of anything more terrifying than Lindsay Lohan getting into my Twitter and tweeting. Not just me. your Twitter, your phone. Really? All Everything. your social media. Really? Yeah. And you just, what, you just take over? I take it over, and there's a series of dares of which you, things you think you may be good at, which you probably aren't good at, that your friends will tell me about. And uh, you can make money with, within those dares, and then proceeds Absolutely. will go to charity. Now, very quickly, Mean Girls. Any news for us about Mean Girls? I hope that someone writes me back soon. You'd love <laughs> to do leave it. it at that. I would love to, yeah. Mm. I'd love so to have you cast back. It'd be really fun with all of us. And, and, and any other movie news? Um, not at the moment. I'm going to start filming something after the summer. Great. Well, look, it's lovely to see you. Thank you. Looking so well Thank and you. positive <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, you come back soon. Thanks for I'll being so nice to me, Piers. I'm well, I'm a busy cat. I'm, you know that. Okay. He's got, yeah. a, <laughs> he's got a nice side, too. I think it's because you're here. <laughs> She's a calming influence I on am. me. It's lovely to see you. It Thanks really so is, yeah. Best of luck with everything. Good to see you. Thank you. Um, I think we need a calming influence on the weather, don't we, Laura?